Would you like to help me solve a problem? Yes! Good! Because I can use all the help I can get. My name is William Edward Boeing, but you can call me Bill. I'm the founder of the Boeing Airplane Company, and my problem is the Model 299 bomber we're developing for the Army. During its last test flight, the plane took off, but then it started to climb too steeply, stalled, rolled over, and <laughs> crashed. Now I need to figure out why it crashed and how to fix it. Do you think you can help me with that? Yeah! Good! I'm not the only man to have trouble building airplanes. The very first men to fly had their share of trouble, too. Do you know who they were? You, oh, I heard the answer out there. Very good, the Wright brothers, Orville and Wilbur Wright. Do you know when they flew for the first time? It was 1903, December 17th, in fact, 1903. Do you know where they flew for the first time? It was North Carolina, Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Do you know which brother flew first? You have a 50-50 chance. It was Orville, excellent. Do you know how they decided who was going to fly first? That's a great guess, but no. You back there. They did flip a coin, excellent. What you may not have known is that Wilbur actually won the coin toss, and he tried to fly three days earlier. That flight lasted all of about three seconds before the plane stalled and crashed, but they didn't give up. They figured out what went wrong, and three days later, Orville made that historic first flight. I can only imagine what it must have felt like. How many of you have flown on a plane before? Raise your hands. Quite a few of you have. Do you remember how you felt the very first time you flew? How did you feel? You. You felt scared. Did anybody else feel scared or nervous? Yeah, some of you? Well, not me. I, my dad's a pilot, so I felt it. Oh, very good, very good. How did other people feel? How did you feel? I felt kind of sick when it started just like going up. Ah, oh, you got sick. Did anybody else get sick? No. A few of you did. I see someone back there. Did anybody feel excited the first time they flew? Oh, quite a few of you did. I'll never forget the first time I flew. It was July 4th, 1915. A barnstormer had brought his plane to Lake Washington. Do you know what a barnstormer does? Have you ever heard of that? Kind of, not quite. They actually tour around the country putting on shows for people. They do tricks in their plane and they give people plane rides. My pal Georgie Westervelt and I, we decided we'd treat ourselves to a plane ride in celebration of Independence Day. You need to keep in mind, this plane was pretty primitive. Yeah. I actually had to sit on the wing. There was a bar for me to brace my feet against, and the only thing that kept me from falling off these, my hands, I had to hang on. As I was sitting there, and the plane was shaking gently from the idling engine, I have to say I was feeling a bit nervous. But I was excited, too. The pilot asked me if I was ready to go. I gave him the thumbs up, and we shot off across the lake, skipping over the waves, and the plane was pounding and pounding as we were going faster and faster and faster, and finally, we lift off. And I looked down, and the lake's falling away below us. It was thrilling, exhilarating up there amongst the birds and the clouds, hanging on for dear life, my heart pounding out of my chest. I couldn't get enough. I rode that plane all day long. As you get older, you realize there are certain key moments in life that shape what you're going to do and be. And that was just such a moment for me. I knew right then, I wanted to build airplanes, and not just any airplanes, but the greatest airplanes in the world. It hasn't always been easy. We've had to build boats and furniture, and just about anything we could to survive. But today, we're the most successful airplane company in the world, only we won't stay that way unless I figure out what went wrong with the Model 299. And in order for you to help me, I think you need to understand a little bit about how a plane flies. Would you like to learn how a plane flies? Excellent. Well, there are four main forces involved in powered flight. 
Three of these are weight, thrust, and drag. You might be familiar with these even though you may not know it. How many of you have run against the wind before? Raise your hands. I would imagine most of you have. When you're running, you have the weight of your body and your clothes and your shoes. You have the thrust generated by your feet pushing against the ground and the ground pushing back against your feet. And you have drag, that's your body pushing against the air, and the air pushing back against your body. When you run, why don't you take off? What's missing? Very good, you have no lift. And how do you generate lift? How does a plane generate lift? Okay, an airfoil, also known as a wing, right? A wing is how a plane generates its lift. Now, I imagine that most of you have seen a wing before. I want you to try and picture it in your mind. It tends to be curved on the top and flatter underneath, and that's intentional. When air hits the front of the wing, it divides and flows around it. Some of it goes over the top, and that creates a force pushing down on the wing. And some of it goes underneath, and that creates a force pushing up. That's lift. Now, if you angle the wing properly, and you shape it properly, and you generate enough thrust to overcome the drag on the plane, you can get air flowing over the wing fast enough to overcome the weight of the plane, and it will take off and fly. Fantastic, isn't it? Now that you understand a little bit about how a plane flies, I want to hear your ideas on what you think went wrong with my plane. Does anybody have an idea of what went wrong? The wing was shaped wrong. That's an excellent idea. We'll look into that. Do you have an idea? Not enough thrust or too much weight. Both good ideas. How about you, young man? Engine trouble? The engine definitely could have malfunctioned. How about you right there? Too much lift. That usually isn't a problem, but it could be. It could be. We'll have to look into that. That could have caused it to go so steeply into the air. How about you back there? Too heavy. Weight could be an issue. You? Too, too much wind. Maybe the wind caused the plane to go out of control. How about you? Ah, we didn't size the wings properly. Excellent. How about you back there? Okay, too steep of an incline and the young lady next to you? Too nose. too nose heavy, that's interesting. Maybe we need to redistribute the weight. Those are some good ideas. How about the idea that maybe the pilot made a mistake? Could that have happened? Yeah. Well, these are some great ideas. You've, you've given me a lot to think about today. Thank you so much for doing that. I'm going to get back to work and see if I can figure out what went wrong. Thanks for your help today.